Good morning. I didn't vlog yesterday. True life. I'm fucking addicted to Pocky. Well, Pokey. I'm addicted to Pokey. So, Ultra Slim Pocky? Pokey? Ultra Slim? Whew, can't stop. Won't stop. Um, I'm not gonna go in there yet. So, yesterday, 13 hours of pain. Solid. Straight. 13 hours. Well, I took a break to go get Chick-fil-A. I really gotta stop eating chick fil -A. Uh, not for any political reasons, even though I think it's just fucked up. You know what? It's hard to boycott things in America. You know why? Because once you boycott one thing, you have to look in the mirror and say, well, I still pay the power company. I still pay the gas company. I still pay whatever, my car, whoever. Like, I can't. Look, people's political affiliations, it's just getting too thick, dog. Sometimes I need a chicken sandwich. Anyway, I gotta stop eating it because it's gonna make me fat. But, er, fatter. Actually, I'm not that fat. Um, uh, what do we got? So, painting. 13 hours or so. 12 and a half. That's how far we got. That's what we got. We got Pocky. We got quite a mess over here. Quite a mess over here. Hockey's. Pokies. Pokey, pokey. Pokey. I don't really know what the plan is today. I'm really just painting all day again. Also, I'll look at you. What are you up to? What are you up to? Your birthday is in a couple of days. Yeah, it's in a couple of days. Oh, you're docile today. Oh, sleepy today. Yeah, you guys sleeping? You're resting today? I can't reach your after. Oh. Okay. I have to paint, obviously, all day because this has to get finished before Japan, which is, I leave, <clears throat> I leave here Monday on the 1st. Uh, friends and family is open right now. It's open for another like 24 hours. I feel like my beard is crazy. I'm not playing with this pokey. Extra clips, you ain't thin, but emergency situation yesterday. Topo, Chico. Also yesterday, I looked into getting vinyl toys made because I wanted to do a, here, let's put this right here. Spices and we're here. Spice Girls. What was I just saying? I got some sleep. My sleep schedule is finally like normal again. I was just saying something. Oh, vinyl toys. So I want to do a Mecha God, you know, the one I'm working on of him meditating. So then it sent me into like a deep dive. Looking at different ways if you make toys, how you make them at home, all these things that you can do, all these different processes. One, I'm super interested in making one myself, like making a mold and making it. That would be super cool. Sculpting it, doing everything. That would be super cool when I have time. Don't think I'm gonna be able to hit it out of the park and sculpt a perfect mecha god. Oh shit, there's more pokey right here. That's strawberry. Oh, fuck with the flavors though. I just like the chocolate. Anyway, this feels weird because I'm essentially just monologuing to a spice rack. <gasps> but I was able to get the ball rolling yesterday with a lot of help from a lot of different people getting a vinyl toy made. So that's cool, but it also means I just put another project on my plate because in order to do a vinyl toy, it's not like I can just give them this and be like, make a toy. I have to draw it from a 360 degree, yeah. We're gonna add that to the list of things to do. Not before Japan, but probably something I'll work on on my iPad. Today's painting, Earn should be here. It's 1023, he said he'd be here at 1030. We'll see. What else do we have? Let's take it down. Um, what's been going on? So I've been making fun of shoes a lot. Nothing else is new. There's a lot of Jordan 1s coming out. But there's also a lot of stupid shit from Adidas. We've transcended. Like, I'm a comedian. I make fun of the culture, you know? And then I praise the culture when it's doing something that I like. Because that's fun for me. So, uh, yeah. That's where we're at. Some people seem to think that, I don't know, they just don't pay attention. Which is fine. Uh, but they think that I love everything Adidas does or something. And... Whoa! A year I was really excited about all the shoes they were putting out because they weren't putting out that many. Um, you know the story as it goes. XR1s. I feel like XR1 was like a destro destroyer fighter that was synced in and it just killed everything. But yeah, all the stuff that happened with Boost, blah blah blah, blah whatever, fast forward now. Yeah, I'm hyper critical of a lot of things. Myself mostly. Yeah. So I'm just like, that's just what it is. Some people got really confused. I like to make jokes. And shoes and fashion and the culture are very easy to make jokes about because it's funny. This is all icing on top of the Sunday, you know? Sunday like ice cream. I spelled it wrong on Twitter because, I don't know, shit's weird. All of this is extra. All of this is a luxury. I used to call tattoos, like tattoos are a luxury. Permanent luxury. It's not a stick that you need, you know? I'm very blessed to have it, work really hard and get 
a lot of stuff. And then when you get a lot of stuff, you're like, okay, you know, it's the old same story. Like the stuff isn't making me happy. So let me keep going. You can use these things as energy and as tools to get to the next place, obviously. Recognize that, and it's whatever. If you want to be, sometimes you want to be sold to, dog. I want to be sold to all the time. It's really where my commentary comes from is when I make fun of something, I'm disappointed. I'd rather buy it. Y'all know I like buying shit. I'd rather be like, oh shit. I'd rather be excited, but if I'm not excited, then I have to make fun of it. Excited, deadpan, make fun of. The only thing I have coming in is the clays. I have those tomorrow. They'll be here tomorrow, actually. Um, I thought they were coming in today, but it's tomorrow. I've got those. I haven't talked about any of the statics or anything like that, or the any of the see-through stripe ones. I have both static, non-reflective, and reflective. And then this pair has a see-through stripe. Short cliff notes. The stripe doesn't bother me. I don't really see my socks through it. It doesn't bother me. I actually kind of appreciate it. Reminds me of an old Swatch watch a little bit. <laughs> And it is a switch up on the V2. We haven't gotten a V3, which I guess I don't really care about. I don't really know, man. Shoes or something else. I feel like there's so many more shoes that have come out in the last like two years. I don't know. Maybe I was just out the game for a long time and didn't realize, but it's hard not to turn on my social media and just be bombarded with it. Which in turn makes me talk about. Especially when I see people excited about something that I think is silly. Oh, and then yeah, Yeezys. I haven't seen, I haven't even really like checked out the other pair. I've honestly been so busy that I haven't taken the time to really look at I have no, I think one is basically like cream colored, I think. And then the other one is, I, dude, I don't, here, let's take a second. Let's take a moment. Let's do it on our phone because it's way easier. Just do it on StockX. <laughs> Shout out to StockX. All right, here we go. Clay. Well, I don't think resale will be very high since it's already at $336. That's funny. All right, so that's the one that's on the way. I like the clay. Oh, I like that one too. What is it? The tree form? Tre tree form. The tre form. Transformer. Ooh, a 13 and a half is the lowest ask at 330. That, I don't even, dude, I don't even know where these came out. And then the hyperspace, that's the white one. Oh, of course. The hyperspace is $510 in a third. Wait, why is the hyperspace fire? It's a crazy color. It's just the white one, but it's like the offset color is nice. 13 and a half is five racks. <laughs> 510 for the fucking 13. I don't need them that bad. They're cool and all. I might get them later or something, but. Here comes Earn. So, whatever I was talking about is about to get cut short. Yo. Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. Um, not much. You have a worried look on your face. Um, well, because... iPhone, turn it off. So, went to Lao Wang. I took my chopsticks out and I put them on the table. Oh, hold on. Someone left a comment that says that instead of telling you that you're being loud, I should come up with basically like a code word instead of embarrassing you by... Do you feel embarrassed when I tell you that you're being loud? No, because it's just me and you. Sure, the internet is watching, but it's but like, like... in a public place where I'm like, yo, why are you so loud? There's other people around. Do you get embarrassed? Should no. I come up with a code word like alligator? Uh, I mean, I get uh, it. Hey, nice alligator. thought. Alligator. But then people are going to know I'm making fun of you then. All right, anyway, sorry. No, it's a nice thought. I like it, but, my way of but I don't get embarrassed. Like, I realize I'm we, loud. We saw... This is why we get along so well. Someone You're my friend. Al someone also said that you were such a yes man because you went home and changed because I made fun of what you were wearing. Well, my wife was also making <laughs> yeah, fun of it. Yeah. It wasn't really said, made to go said, out in. I would have told Teddy to pluck off. I'm wearing what I'm wearing. He's like, but... Then again, actually, I wouldn't have worn that either, so. I wouldn't have worn it. There wasn't the plan to take it public. Anyway, um, more about your lunch. So I, I open my chopsticks, I put them down on the table, start talking to Teddy. I look down in my phone, and the owner walks by, I guess because my chopsticks were on the table. The spoon was on the napkin, and he just kind of takes it and throws it across my table and then just walks away. Yeah, he, your shit was on the table like a barbarian. He's like, oh, you want to come in here and be a barbarian? Here. Here. Fucking... Might as well. I'm surprised he didn't bring your fucking dumplings just in his hand. Dump them on the They're fucking table. In his hand. Seriously. Then when he dropped our drinks off, he ice grilled me. And then finally, I think I'm over it. I'm thanking him a lot. I'm keeping track of my chopsticks. Then right before we leave, I go to get up, step out into the aisle as he's coming with a tray of four waters. And he just stops short, looks at me. I sit back down and get out of his way. It was too late at that point, yeah, so. Like, yeah. yeah, today was not a good day. We're gonna, I just don't want to get banned. No, not you, it's like soup now. Yeah. People, are you recording? Yep. People are under the impression that your Fortnite win was on PC. 
Oh, and no. they, well, Teddy, you can't really give him too hard of a time. PC is hard as fuck to win on. And I'm like, I agree with you. But he's playing on a PlayStation. It's just plugged into a PC monitor because it's why yes. sent him to the cam girl room. Got my heated seat on. Hit him with that. Watch the auto air. Full blast. You almost feel cooler just from the visual, too. Right? Oh, shit. Is that what that is? Are you kidding me? I can, fucking, I can feel the fan moving from left to right. Holy shit. I had no idea. I'm trying to make right <laughs> Just shipping some eBay products. eBay products. Yeah. I watched The Town last night. You ever see that movie? It kind of feels like Ben Affleck just like gassed himself up. I'm gonna make myself a criminal and a hero and a badass, sensitive man, fucking total package of badassery. But it's also sort of like Goodwill Hunting with a splash of bank robbery. She looks a little like Mini Driver in a way. A lot of similar, uh, Similar concept, <laughs> like he's leaving, he was trying to get out of Boston. Like every Boston movie, motherfuckers are trying to get out of Boston. Makes like, sense. Gotta get out of here. Gotta go out, gotta get in my car and go far. I can't remember. Like, so they like rob banks and then the dude falls in love with- He kidnaps her. For a second. Dude, the writing and the whole like, either here or on the other side. And that's what his dad said in prison. And I'm just like, this, oh, this is corny. Like, I wanted to like it, but it's kind of corny too. Have and you like seen said, the, the Queen movie yet? Yeah, I saw it in the theater. Okay. I haven't seen it. Randy said it was good. It's okay, it's not historically accurate. No. No. No, fuck no. There's so much shit that's not right in that movie. Well, and some of it, like Josh was saying, they do, like, you gotta keep in mind, like, they're doing it for a movie. Like, yeah, at one point, right. like, another one bites the dust. Like, they I'm not being, the like, one of the, like, it's not by the book dudes. Yeah. I'm just saying. Some stuff, though, doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, some stuff, why do they, why do they put it in there for a movie? Like, yeah. why change the story? People think that's true. And I want to see the screwball movie, though. The documentary, the juicing scandal, it's from the same dude. Joe Rogan just did a podcast oh, with the guy. Billy on. Corbin, Cocaine Cowboys. Yeah, I wanted to watch it yesterday. It's fucked up. They do the podcast. You get you all gassed to watch it. I'm like, oh, cool. As soon as this podcast's over, I'm going to watch it. It's not out it's yet. It's not out yet. It comes out in theaters like the 31st. And you can't download it to buy, you know, like a VOD basically until like a third. And I'm like, I guarantee you when I'm in Japan, I won't be able to watch it. It'll be like some international, I'll have to spoof my fucking location. You do it though. I know. Get my door kicked down for a spoof location. They're like, oh, you're trying to watch Screwball. The monster with 21 faces, dog. You know about the monster with 21 faces? No. Damn. <laughs> what are you doing? Get him. Oh, 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 yeah? Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, you stepping on the nice kicks, man. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 wow. Do that. Whoa. Nope. Oh. Get. Get. Good man. Go. Try. Victory try. Victory try. Victory try. Give me this. Give me this. Abner. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go do this. It's free hikers. He's got hiked. You're going to mail. Did you been getting Alex flowers today? Um, well, yes, because she goes to the store and then she's like, thank you. I'm like, for what? You got me flowers. Okay. Someone also commented, I have to defend my woman here and not because, like, not because I'll defend her at all costs. They said, man, Alex's lady sure is good at keeping a tidy house. First off. Oh, Teddy's lady. Yeah, our Teddy's lady. Yeah. yeah, sorry. That's sexist. Women do a lot more than clean. Secondly. You suck dead. Secondly, no one in the world could ever possibly like at all keep up with the messes that i make yeah ever never that is true it could never happen this could have been clean 10 minutes ago it's true. and it would look like this i mean y'all saw when i lived by myself in the block i'd be like i spent all morning cleaning yeah. <laughs> there's shit everywhere i remember the old apartment yeah seriously Take People just don't remember. Oh, now you're stealing cigarettes from the company? This shit's so fire. Have we released them yet? Well, no. I mean, they're to friends and family. I, I can't, can't treat your right silhouette. Now. This is this is coming out on the new shirts. This is, well, yeah, the general public hasn't seen this design yet unless someone leaked it. The wallpaper. That's, that's the happy cray eye. Happy cray eye. Yeah. yeah. I gotta get back to work. Oh, give me that one to take. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow morning. I'm bringing Brandy with me. She's got to ship like three or four orders that came through. All right. I'll be here painting. All right. Yeezys will be here. Nice. Oh yeah, we're doing a full review. Clay Yeezys full review. The Boost News Network. Oh yeah. <laughs> no promises on that one. Don't don't go pro don't go thinking that was a promise. You know, I'll turn this fucking car around, dog. We really just paint because we really haven't painted any today, and it's already after lunch. Business. Twelve forty-five. So. 
time to get going. It's uh, it's five o'clock, basically. I think, yeah, five fifteen. So today's been a little all over the place. Uh, this week has actually been like really fucking stressful. The business side of things, I guess, like trying to fit Japan in there, scaling things, trying to find enough time to do work, trying to find enough time to vlog, filling all these things I have to do. Like it's been, it's been a test, a testy. Testy, a testy week. Suck balls. Well, I didn't suck balls, but the week is just. It's not been the least stress that I've ever been. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely ready to get the fuck out of here. Not that getting away from here is going to change the stress, but I'm ready to go. Not a lot of excitement either this week as far as vlog stuff goes. Just regular life, because that's what it is sometimes. So the rest of the night tonight, I'm going to try and get this vlog done. Finish this painting. Really got to finish it tonight, because tomorrow we head down. We have print shop meeting tomorrow morning to get everything finalized before I go. Just running around, like, last business stuff, because it's like the last weekday that I'm in town, because I leave early Monday morning. <laughs> Yeah, tomorrow's insane. Yeezy Clays, well, they should be here. All kinds of shit to finish before we go. I was supposed to go to the Terex office tomorrow, but I don't think I have time. They emailed me last night. I don't even fucking think I responded to that email. Yeah, it, it's nuts. It's nuts this week. All I can really say is thank you to you guys who support. <laughs> Super stressful, but this is like the life that I wanted. I wanted to just be making stuff, and that's where we are. And people are buying it, and you guys keep wanting more, and people keep signing up for friends and family, and it would be great to just like not have to deal with um everything that goes on with this because some days man some days the shit is just wild i'm gonna call it a day well i'm gonna call it a day as far as this camera goes i'm gonna keep painting also all right see you guys tomorrow Peace.